Hey traders, today is day number two of the $1,000 account challenge. And today we are up $13.56 or 1.31% of the total portfolio value. Now, before you laugh and say that these are insignificant gains, I want you to think in terms of percentages. First of all, we are already up 1%, over 1% of our total portfolio balance in a day, which is great, right? That's that's a good thing. That's going to add up over time. Two, I need you to understand that the beginning of these challenges is not so much about making money. You know, I have a member right here that made $11,000 today. It's not so much about making money and trying to get rich quick in the beginning of growing an account. It's about building a profit margin because we know that down the road, Losses are inevitable. We will take a loss. We will take multiple losses. It will happen. But the idea in the beginning of the challenge is to build up this profit margin above our initial investment so that when we do take that loss, when those losses do happen, we are not dipping into our initial investment. We are only dipping into money that we have previously made, right? So keep that in mind as we're moving forward, especially in the beginning of this challenge. So if you don't know, by the way, my name is Gates. I'm taking $1,000. I've deposited it into a cash account on Thinkorswim. I'm day trading options to see how far we can grow the account. Today is day two, and we're up $13, adding to our day prior of, I think we were up $36 the day before. Okay, um, so what trades did we take? Going to the day trade watch list, number one right off the watch list was Meta. Short idea below $331. Now we got the breakdown yesterday on Meta, giving us a bearish engulfing candlestick on the daily time frame and short below 131, just literally pulling, or sorry, 331, literally pulling off of the low of day from yesterday. So what do we get on the one minute time frame today? A break down here below 100, uh, sorry, 331, a rally retest of 331, and then we take the entry short. I mean, it's it's as cut and dry as that. So break below the short trigger, rally up to test the short trigger as resistance. We go short right there, and we get the move down into the low of day. Now, I wound up taking my profits here at 10%. Because the contracts at the time, the ones that we had selected, they just weren't moving that much. Um, it was unfortunate, you, you know, that we were down, uh, sorry, we were up almost 10% right away here. And then on this drop here, we we're still only up 10%. I'm like, what's going on with these things? So did wind up taking the profits there at 10% only because my fear was this might reverse and push back up because SPY at that time was starting to bounce and hold off of the previous day's closing price. So Meta took the profits when they were offered at 10%. And hey, nothing wrong with that. Nobody ever went broke taking profits. A uh, little bit of a missed opportunity there for the rest of the move down. Could have been offered 20% plus. But like I said, green is green. And in the beginning, it's all about building that profit margin, taking those profits when offered so that when the red days do come, which they will, we have some house money to play with. Trade number two. So again, straight off the day trade watch list. Trade number two is Tesla short below 243. So Tesla gives us an opening flush below 243. And I was this close to taking the entry short right here or here and catching this move down, but I didn't do it. And the reason why is because I thought that maybe there was a chance that this was going to rally up closer to the previous day's closing price. And I would have taken a short entry up here instead of down here, even though the short trigger was at 243. So missed opportunity there to take that short right at the short trigger for the move lower. But look, we didn't give up on the trade, right? We get a rally back up on Tesla close to this same rejection area, right? Rejection area here, rejection area there, close to the short trigger at 243. We take the trade short right here on this candle and we get the 10% offered on this move down there. So I made you know, about $15 total today, but with commissions and fees, you know, really only up $13 and 56 cents. Um, cut and dry trades though. I want you to focus not so much right now on the P and L amount, the dollar amount. I, it's really about the entries that are taken based off of the watch list and the risk, uh, assumed versus the amount of reward that is potentially possible. So for meta, for example, if we are going short here at 331, 
then we know that if it reclaims 331, we cut the trade, right? So our risk amount is very small here compared to the amount of reward that's offered down to the bottom side, right? Let's just say a, let's just say that a, a dollar down to 330. Even that, I mean, we sold even lower than that. But even that, look at this would be your reward. This is your risk. So risk off amount, very small in relation to the reward amount. And then for Tesla, same thing, right? If we're entering short here and we know 243 is our short trigger, that becomes our stop loss. So our, our risk amount there is very small in relation to potential reward being down to the low of day, potential reward looking like that. And even though we even cut that in half, we only got half of that, it's still double the amount of the, of the risk assumed. So the risk amount here, very small in relation to the reward amount. Uh, and that's what I really want you to focus on in the beginning of this challenge, right? So it's not so much about the dollar amount that's made, maybe think in terms of percentages, more so about how are we taking these entries? How are we taking green trade after green trade after green trade? And how much risk are we assuming when we take these entries and how much reward is actually offered when we take the entry? Okay, so that's it for today's trades. Uh, just two Tesla short and Meta short. I hope that the review has helped you out. If it has, press that like button for me. Uh, comment down below if you feel like you missed anything and you'd like to see something else in these videos. Um, if not, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And again, thank you for your time. I will see you all in chat. Take care.